The Breaker is a South Korean manhwa series written by Jeon Guk Jin and illustrated by Park Jin Hwan under the alias Kamado. The Breaker centers around the development of the protagonist Si Woo from a mild manner, often victimized high school nobody into a competent and deadly martial arts badass. The catalyst for this change is none other than Si Woo's substitute teacher and eventual sensei Chun Woo Han. As is made very apparent, Chun Woo Han is no ordinary substitute teacher. For those who don't know, Mr. Han's true identity is known as the Nine Door Dragon, a title given only to those who have proven themselves as the most deadly warrior in hand to hand combat within the underground martial arts society known as the Murim. The world of the Murim resides on the outskirts of modern society. It is a clandestine world that for all intents and purposes does not exist to the civilian population. But local governments have acknowledged the existence of the Murim and there has been an agreement that those in power in regular society will turn a blind eye to the affairs of the Murim as long as the boundary between the two is never crossed. The underworld handles the business of their organization and the government will handle the affairs of modern society. This harmony is disrupted however when the Nine Door Dragon for some mysterious reason arrives at the Nine Dragons High School masquerading as a substitute teacher. Unbeknownst to the dragon, Shi Wu actually saw his martial arts talent on display the day before following a street fight Chun Wu got into the previous day with local thugs. Sick of constantly being bullied, Shi Wu pesters the Nine Door Dragon to teach him martial arts, and this fateful meeting and innocent desire will change both of their lives forever. Normally, after the plot synopsis, I would jump into the story's themes and things that it does within its narrative to make it special. But for the breaker, the first thing I want to highlight is the artwork. This manhwa is absolutely gorgeous, and what really sells the charm is Kamado's aesthetic sensibilities. He seems to have an innate understanding of what makes something cool, and this sense of style permeates every single aspect of this book. What perfectly illustrates this point are the illustrations found at the beginning of every new chapter. Every single one of these images is wallpaper worthy. They are dynamic, lovingly detailed, and exude so much personality that you can't help but marvel at the talent and aesthetic sense that the individual who penned these must have. Plot integral characters have beautiful designs evoking memories of the protagonists from kung fu movies both new and old from which they are inspired. My personal favorite illustrations from the story occur when Kamado uses deep blacks and bold line work to highlight the emotional intensity of a character entering climactic levels of anger, sadness, or frustration. And the way Kamado pins the Nine Door Dragon is particularly great. Chun Wu Han steals the show in nearly every scene he's in and exudes a feeling of raw energy, intensity, and power in every panel, reminding me a great deal of when you see photos or interviews of the great Bruce Lee. The Breaker is also no stranger to fan service, with Kamado being very capable of drawing the fair of the sexes in a very appealing way. For my mileage, the fan service was never intrusive to the point of interfering with with my enjoyment of the plot, and I think there are enough depictions here of drop-dead sexy men and women that pretty much any viewer can come away finding something they like. Outside of the gorgeous artwork, the main appeal of the breaker for most viewers is going to be the well-choreographed fight scenes and watching the development of Shi Woon and Chun Wu Han as they grow and develop as individuals throughout the story. Combat in the breaker is a mix between real-world martial arts styles and principles mixed with the supernatural in the form of devastating chi abilities utilized by those inhabiting the world of the Murim. Murim users are individuals whom through severe amounts of education and physical as well as spiritual training have earned them the ability to utilize inner energy techniques. The foundation of the power system in the breaker rests on concepts commonly found in Eastern philosophy, identifying the individual as being broken into four parts. Seam, or the mind, representing the brain's ability to send orders to the whole body. Gi, the breath, or chi, which is the life force of all creation. Che, the body, representing the materials that make up the body such as muscle and bone. And hon, or the spirit, which represents the will and desire of the individual. Those in the martial arts underground of the marim use their knowledge of inner power for a variety of different ends, some to create wealth, others to grasp for power and to dominate all those who would oppose their will. Chun Wu Han, the Nine Door Dragon and the individual rumored as the most dangerous martial artist in the underworld, has been labeled as a breaker, someone seeking to break the boundary between the underworld and the real world through his arrival at the Nine Dragons Academy, placing a target on his back for all those seeking to maintain the status quo. Murim adds an extra layer of the fantastic to every fight in the story, instantly raising the stakes. Not only are the individuals in conflict trained martial artists with numerous years of combat experience, but they are trained martial artists with numerous years of experience capable of blowing a hole through your chest with the concentrated power of the spirit crushing fist. Battles in this manga truly felt like I was watching an action movie. They take place in a variety of unique set pieces with easy to follow choreography that makes you feel like you're watching your favorite Jet Li or Tony Jaa action flick if the action were mixed with the head exploding powers of Kenshiro from Fist of the North Star. The story itself is certainly not the most complex narrative in the world, but this is not what the Breaker was going for and that's absolutely okay. The Breaker is a manga that feels like it's trying to elicit the same hype and adrenaline filled excitement you get from watching something like Itmon or The Fast and the Furious, and it absolutely succeeds in its goal. And despite the story not being the front runner, I definitely found myself curious about the origins and motivations of the Nine Door Dragon and wanting to know more about him as a character, and also found myself rooting for Shi Woon as he goes from the limp-wristed, pathetic wretch that he is in the beginning of the story to the persistent and budding badass that he becomes as the story reaches its close. I was never bored in my time with the Breaker, and that absolutely means something to me in a market saturated with sleep-inducing, cookie-cutter stories. The Breaker is an over-the-top, martial arts-fueled thrill ride of a model 
all that is worth the price of admission. Although it isn't perfect, there are plot contrivances and translation issues littered all over the place. For what it does, it's a masterclass in its field and will leave you smiling ear to ear. Martial arts fans and fans of shonen and action-oriented manga will be doing themselves a disservice if they missed out on this one. So what I recommend is that you go home, gather your chi, head to your nearest dojo, and read Jungkook Jin's Breaker. It's a story you're not going to want to miss.